This is the gold, glitter gold twist on smoky eye. The glitter gold twist on a smoky eye. That is a handful to say. <laughs> Hello. Today I am doing a tutorial request on smoky eye, nighttime look. And instead of doing it on me, I'm going to do it on my friend here, Amrtha. We're just going to roll with the punches. We're going to roll with the punches. Okay. So we're sticking with our bare minerals because we love bare minerals. We do. So I got some honey bisque, which is really good for cover up. So all these dark spots, pimples and such. And we can brighten underneath Free the eye, stuff. so we're good with that. And because I have a darker tone skin, I got some golden tan foundation. Oh, you're golden tan. I'm golden medium. Oh, we're close. Yeah, that's funny. It's still golden. Yeah, look yeah. at that. And we have our traditional warmth. Get some uh, bronzer, I guess, look in yep. there. And we have our mineral veil. And then we're not really sure about the eyes, but we might try out some smoky eye colors of a dark emerald green that will show up more after we put it on. We could do gold and green. I love that because oh, yeah. I'm like a gold. Uh, green we can fanatic. do like we can do a smoky eye going out clubbing. Cool. We could we could do that. We're gonna mix it up. We a have little. options. Should here. we do a shout out for Maya? Yeah, we'll this do a video shout out for, for you. Maya. We're gonna do your smoky eye nighttime look, and we're gonna show you how to do eyeliner, how to put that on. We're gonna show you how to do that too. Although I have to say, it's harder to do it on someone else than it is to do on yourself. So this is gonna be also a learning lesson for me. Multi-purpose concealer. You can go on spots, you can go under the eye. Wherever you want to brighten it. We're going to minimize these uh, tearful eyes. No more crying over dudes, people. And today is a girl's day, so dudes, back off. Okay, now we're going in with the foundation. Guys, if you don't have bare minerals yet, you got to go and get it. Worth every penny. Yep. You got two people here who are saying it's worth every penny. And it helps with that acne because yeah, it, it helps doesn't with the clog acne. your skin. Exactly. Or get coverage. the primer if you are the type of person whose makeup rubs off really easily. Yes. Sweats off, whatever. That could be great for sweaty days like today. Today's a hot day. So it's a hot. Today's a primer day. First day of Labor Day weekend. If you got primer, use it. We're just going to go up the cheekbone. Up the cheekbone here. On the side here, a little bit up at the temple where the light hits, and then down on the, the jaw here. I'm never scared to use a little extra warmth because sometimes it takes... True. Especially if you're a darker just, tone. I was just thinking of using a little more to bring it out. So I'm going with my Bare Minerals blush in Exquisite Radiance. Get on the cheeks. Yeah, I think it comes out a little more when you put uh, blush on it. Yeah. There you go. Subtle is always better. Well, unless we put the smoky eyes on. The smoky eyes are going to be uh, the main attention of the look, so you might not want to go too heavy on the blush. I think it looks really nice as it is right now. Next step, we're going to go in with my Bare Minerals Primetime Brightening Eyelid Primer. Just backwards again, sorry. And you have great eyelids. You have more of an eyelid to work with. Like, I don't. You're Asian. I'm Asian. But you're able to pull off makeup, so... Yeah, you just gotta find what works for your your eyes. You do have like a defined eye socket, like brow bone thing. It's not even like a bone. You know, one time I took a health quiz in like tenth grade, and the teacher said, "Write down five bones in your body," and we had like a minute to do it. I was like, "Brow bone," because I don't know. I watched a tutorial. He's like, "Brow bone? That's not a bone." What have they been telling me on this makeup tutorials then? Because I thought a brow bone was a bone. It feels like a bone. Yeah. Okay, so we got we got both sides down. This is the primer. And it looks so nice on its own. It has like a little bit of shimmer. It looks like you I'm wearing gold eyeshadow. You easily just go out with that itself. Like that's what I'm using right now. I don't have any eyeshadow on. This is just the primer. But we're going to do an eyeshadow look for you. You have way too much makeup for you. I'm good. Oh my god, where's my gold? Where's my gold? Seriously, where's my gold? Hold this. Okay, I got it. I got it. We got the gold here. Oh, this is like oh, yeah. oh, this is the best. Okay, she says it's the best. We're going to use it. 
Alright, right, this but... is drugstore makeup right here. So this is the CoverGirl uh, Golden Sunset palette. It comes with a nice uh, gold and a, a bronze copper sort of color. Maybe this is the copper. It's more like copper, bronze. Oh yeah, this kind of just brings out that gold more that was naturally in the primer. primer. That is the gold on the lids. All right, now using the same palette, we're gonna go in with the middle one here, just sort of bronzy color. Wait, what color? I thought we did smoky eyes. We are. We're layering. Oh we're God, layering. That's a lot of makeup. Okay. It's, it's not a lot. It's just. It's just. Okay, color I'm embracing. Layer. Okay. Here we're just kind of going on the outer corner and into the crease. Oh, this one looks copper color, and just layer it on top of that. But instead of going all the way in like we did with the uh, with the bronze color, we're just gonna go uh, on the outer corner here, sort of like halfway in. Okay, turn this way. Sorry. Okay, so we have the 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 base colors down. Now. I'm going to start with my green gold in Zany. Again, we're kind of going to trace the, well, the copper color that we used. Oh yeah, this mm -hmm. makes it stand out a little more. And this we're just doing at the outer corner. You can see a little bit of the, the, the depth going on, the definition. And we're going to add that to the other side. I am a fan of using anything but black to do a smoky eye. You can do like a really dark green like this one. You can see it in here. No. It looks like it could be black. It's not. It's green. So it's gonna have a nice green tint to it. Like even a dark brown. But I like using um, greens, purples. Use those instead of black. I mean it just tones it down but it still looks um, smoky. And like I said in my past video, these bare mineral eyeshadows are very layerable. And you could add on more if you wanted a darker look. Or, like you mentioned before, you could add it with a little bit of water to sort of make like a, a paste to it. It'll make it thicker. So it'll definitely come out a little darker if you do that. But just look at this right now. Like, this side has the black emerald color, which looks nice and smoky. And I'm going to add it to that side. So, like, how this side is right now, you can do that as like a daytime look. So when you're going from a daytime to nighttime look, you're just basically adding on more color. Just at the outer corner here, not going in too much. Alright, so it's basically... No, no, it's gonna come together. It's seriously <laughs> gonna come together. We didn't even put on eyeliner yet. We didn't even put on um, mascara. So we'll get to that. Trust me on this. And anyway, I have a few years to work in it before you get married. And you wouldn't be going for a smoky eye like this. Oh, for, yeah, it's a goth for, wedding. No, Everyone is invited. Out. Okay. I think the gold's really going to make it come together. So, let's see. Do we want to use the NYX Glitter Candy Liner or the Glitter Palette? We're going to use the Glitter Palette. Glitter palette. Um, Dana got it for you for yes. years. Yes, my friend Dana. My wonderful friend Dana got me this NYX Glitter Cream Palette. I think I might just have to use that today. We're going to use the gold on the lid where the lighter part is. I'm just going in here, warming it up a bit. And... Kind of comes out like this. Poor lighting again. I hate this. Pat it on, not smearing. When you look at it in person, but when you see it's it in person, glittery. it's it's pretty it's glittery. glittery. So we're gonna use that <laughs> Nyx gold from the glitter cream palette as a base, and then we're gonna add more on top of it with the Nyx glitter candy liner in gold. This actually sticks on a little better. And with this, we're just going on. Mainly the center of the lid. We're not going too high up. We're not going too far out onto the outer corner. Okay, see how that one works. Yeah, it's coming together. It's gold. So this is actually a liner, but I've never used it as a liner. I could try to do a look at that if anybody wants, but I just use this as sort of a glittery lid color. And it actually does have glitter in it. So you can see it. It's coming you, up really you can, good. You can see it. It tones down the zombie look. 
If anything, this is like a glam zombie, zombie was look. Like, zombie was like the first thing that popped in my head. Okay, I can see it. If you can't see it, you're if blind. If you can't see it, you're blind. I'm going to go back <laughs> into the eyes and do a highlighter on the brow bone. You know, it's not a bone. My life is in your hands. Lancome Freaky Palette. It's like a white-ish tan color. So I highlighted the brow bone a little bit with that white-ish color. And that's not a sparkly color, it's just a matte color. Now I want to do a little bit of touch-up with the green now that we have the gold in place. I'm working it. I'm defining the crease more. I think that's what it means. When you find Maybe liners, it could be hard to put it on either yourself or someone else because it, it either has like too wet of a texture and it gets everywhere and it gets messy or the applicator has too thick of a tip. So what is that one? It's a, it's a liquid liner. It's New York color. New York color. And it's pure black. In black. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like to start with the outside first because um, you never know how thick it's going to come out on the applicator when you put it on your lid. Um, so it's best to just have it thicker on the outside because if you're going to do like a winged sort of like cat eye look anyway, it's always thicker at the end. And it's always thinner on the inside. So start with the outside. I don't like to draw a straight line. Uh, I just kind of put all the pieces together to create a line, but I don't go straight across to make a line. And you want to get it as close as possible to the lash line because you don't want any spaces between the um, the lash line and the liner itself. So that's it for the liner. Do you even need the curl? No. This is a Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. Okay, you gotta show it. There you go. Colossal Volume. Volume. When you put mascara on, you want to sort of wiggle it from the bottom and then go up with it. After we put on the, the liner and the mascara, it just completed the look. Yeah. It's definitely good for camera makeup, if anything. I yeah. mean, it might look scarier to you in person, but definitely if you're doing like photo shoot, if you're doing camera work. And like and my actually, makeup never shows up in photos. Yeah, so, so it looks well. like a lot. It looks like a lot when you do it, but trust me, when you're taking photos or you're doing a video, it shows up a lot nicer. If you want, you can go over the lashes a little bit with the mascara, but it's I think it's personal just fine. Preference, yeah, say. personal preference. I think it's fine the way it is. You don't want too heavy of a bottom look. And the thing is, your crease and everything is pretty heavy on the top. When yeah. you do the bottom heavy, it's just too much. And if you're going to have heavy eyes, make sure you do light lips. So this is the Clinique Chubby Stick in Super Strawberry. So it's a moisturizer well, with a tint of color. Yeah, actually, this might go really nicely. And it, it has a little bit of a red in it, but it's not too stand out -y because it's just a moisturizer. It's not a lipstick. It's not going to be too glossy because if it's too glossy, it'll clash with the glitter. But I think yep. it I think it looks nice. Yep. Um, it blends in with her natural lip color. It gives a little bit of gloss and, and a little color. And a little bit of color too, but not too out there. It doesn't distract from the eyes. Yeah. My take on the look is that it looks um, I think it looks awesome. Thank you. Got a nice pop of gold. And I would hire her in a second. Thank you. It works great on all skin tones, but especially on darker skin tones. Um, I it's like perfect for going out. Like, yeah, it really is. Um, because my makeup never. Sh I do regular smoky eye sometimes, and even that doesn't always show up. Trust me, if you're going out and you're taking photos, this will show up. And I don't know if you can tell, but the green is a really nice substitute for a black. It doesn't look so harsh. Great subject to work on right here. She had long eyelashes, naturally curled, unlike mine. <laughs> yes. So. Stay tuned for more tutorials. I will take more requests. This was a request. And kind hopefully, <laughs> it was. It was to do a, a smoky eye nighttime look. It's definitely a nighttime look. But you can really rock it right now. I would rock it. I mean, you have great eyes. Why not? So, hit They're me up out. with more requests. And I will make a video for you. Because I have nothing else to do. And I can be your subject again. And she can be my subject again. So, hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And, um, anything else? Peace out. Peace out. We gotta go. Party. 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 Party
can't do this. I can't do this. I cannot film with anybody else. Right? Anyway. Isn't this great shit? So glad Part of my language. So glad I got you on the bandwagon. Thank you. I'm gonna be forever grateful. Also, because you got me the want to take it. Fuck this landing. We do it. Look at the smoky eyes. Look at her cleaning up my computer. Look at this great smoky eyes. This is what I got a bachelor's degree to. But you know, what else do I do with my life right now? Look hot. Yeah, I, I can look hot, do makeup tutorials, and have nowhere to go. I might go to an electric zoo with this makeup. Yeah. Jesus. I have to do a review on the NYX Glitter Cream Palette. Yeah. I might really have to use that sometime.